Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about seasons. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of seasons is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. It says, For everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of seasons is found in Genesis chapter 8, verses 20 through 22. It says, Noah built an altar to Yahweh, and took of every clean animal, and of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Yahweh smelled the pleasant aroma. Yahweh said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake because the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. I will never again strike every living thing, as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night will not cease. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Daniel chapter 2, verses 20 through 21. It reads, Daniel answered, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise, and knowledge to those who have understanding. Passage number 4. This is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. The scripture says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in their hearts, yet so that man can't find out the work that God has done from the beginning even to the end. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Acts chapter 1, verses 6 through 7. The Bible says, Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, are you now restoring the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It isn't for you to know times or seasons which the Father has set within his own authority. Congratulations! You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of seasons, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on seasons. Passage number 6 is from Psalm chapter 104, verse 19. It says, He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows when to set. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Psalm chapter 31, verses 14 through 16. The Bible says, But I trust in you, Yahweh. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies, and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine on your servant. Save me in your loving kindness. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of seasons is from Genesis chapter 1, verses 14 through 18. It reads, God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs to mark seasons, days, and years, and let them be for lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth, and it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to give light to the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from James chapter 4, verses 13 through 15. The passage states, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow let's go into this city and spend a year there, trade, and make a profit. Yet you don't know what your life will be like tomorrow. For what is your life? 
For you are a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. For you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will both live, and do this or that. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of seasons is from Matthew chapter 24, verses 32 through 33. It says, Now from the fig tree learn this parable, when its branch has now become tender and produces its leaves, you know that the summer is near. Even so you also, when you see all these things, know that he is near, even at the doors. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of seasons. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to seasons, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.